みなさん、こんにちは。おたくおやじだ。お元気ですか ?Hello everyone, this is おたくおやじ again. And it's been a bit of a break, but I've been very busy work since the year started. But still, Happy New Year everyone, and I hope all of you are keeping well. And today, I would like to share with you the unboxing and motorizing of the Tommy Tag Railway Collection Nishi, or rather, West Japan Railroad Type 3000 Yanagawa Tourism Train, otherwise known as Suito, and it's a six car set. Okay, in Japanese, it will be Tatsudo Collection Nishi Nippon Tatsudo Sanzen Kata Yanagawa Ryoko Densha Suito Rokuryosha Seto. <laughs> and I got this set from Amazon Japan. Well, let's get to it, shall we? Okay. Well, I'm not going to say what's in the box because we all know what's in the box. Okay, wrapping paper and improvement. Hey, no backing box this time. What the. And here we have it. Okay, don't worry, this is going to go on the turntable. Alright, to fully motorize this set, you're going to need the motor, which is the TM12R, and I have it over here. TM12R. You're also going to need the train wheels and bogies, uh, not bogies, sorry, coupler parts and TT04R, which I have. What they recommend down here, the Atomic 0271, is actually the pentagraphs. That's for making the train look nice. Alright, and yeah, well, I like this set, so I went ahead and got it. Now, to make the train look even nicer, because if you just simply use a TT04, you're just going to have Arnold couplers, okay? Uh, and since uh, these are literally all front uh, connections, you're going to need the JC25 front end couplers, which look like this. Now, this is uh, one of these couplers will set you back roughly 300 yen plus, which is uh, close to $5 Singapore. Uh, okay, this is where I'm going to go cheap. So rather than using this type, I'm just going to use the tight lock uh, couplers. Yeah, I know it's not authentic, but I try to minimize my spending. Hey, hey, hey. Right, first let's open her up. So besides the trains, it comes with the bogey parts. Uh, to cover up the wheels as well as to switch this over to the Arnold couplers. Yep, okay, the bogey covers. And we have the destination stickers which I will apply in a while. Wow, it really is very nicely done. Okay, so I'm deciding which will be my power car. Mm. Ideally, it should be in the middle, but I can't have a head unit doing it. So I guess I'm probably going to let the second car be the power car. Okay, so let's start converting. Okay, first let's open up this. So this comes with uh, the bogey covers also, which I will not use, and this is to uh, to lengthen or shorten the uh, chassis if as necessary. Okay, and this is the chassis itself. Can I put a TN coupler on this? I don't think so, unless I yes, unless I extend the chassis. Okay, are there any instructions here? There are, hmm, okay, so trial and error. So first, let's remove the base. All right, it's as simple as that. 
Okay, these parts are to be attached to the uh, chassis, which I'm gonna need my tweezers. I'll be back. Okay, so I'll just fix this part. Now, if it's a good fit, I wouldn't need any glue. So let's find out. If it's loose, I'll have to add glue later on. Feels tight. Feels good. This is a bit loose. I might have to apply glue later. Okay. And let's see. Yep. I want extension so I can put in the key and couplers later on. So let's have a look at the extension packs. Okay, by guesstimation, or in my country, we'll call it agaration. It seems like S is too small, M not big enough, L should be a good fit, so I'm going to use the L. So... All I need to do is to fit that in like so. And we're done. Yes, feel free to glue it in if you want to, but right now everything's soft. Let's see if it's a good fit. Huzzah! It fits. Okay, so now next thing, it's gonna need four of these. Okay, so I don't know which side is up. Basically, where you see this, uh, you know, half this is actually facing upwards. So what I need to do is slot this in here. Okay, it's in. Likewise, do so for the other side. Here too. I'll probably glue them together later on, but right now it's just a test fit stage. Okay, looking good so far. I haven't fit in the uh, tight lock couplers, so I'll do that later. So first, I'm going to do the pentagrass. So first, let's remove the plastic ones. They're actually pretty nice by themselves, but oh well, you know, I'm just going the full nine yards. So don't worry, I'm not going to throw them away. I'll probably find a use for them somehow, somewhere. Okay. So the part for the Tomix pentagraph is, let's get this out of the way because it looks unsightly. Okay, J, uh, sorry, not JC, 0271 Tomix. Okay, and you get a pair. So this face inwards and just the four uh, legs, match them to the holes and push them in and voila. Here, two, anchor them in, three, and four. Okay, some would want to glue, but uh, nah, not made. So now, I will have working pentagraphs. Yay! Okay, so once again, okay, 
I'm sure most of you know this already, but uh, the pentagraphs are actually the parts where they draw the electricity to power the trains from and all the other uh, train functions as well. Uh, the electric cables are overhead, so what they would do is they would uh, raise this pentagraph until it touches the wire and since this works on a spring, no matter how it goes, it'll keep going up or down, up or down. But obviously, this is just a model. It's just gonna, you know, stay there. All right, and we are done. This is a motorized uh, motor car right now, and it's also all kitted out. Uh, save the suns, the TN couplers, which I'll install later on. Right now, we move on to car number three, which is one of the middle connecting cars. There's a head-to-head -head connection, so let's take this out and see what we can do with it. All right, uh, first thing we need to do is to replace the wheels, which is actually here. Okay, so it's just, you know, flexing it a little bit and getting the wheels out. This part sticks, locked, right? Get rid of this part there. Voila. Okay, uh, let's make it a closer cut. Or rather, should I say a cleaner cut? Voila! It works. So I shouldn't be in the way of the TN coupler now. Woohoo! Okay, and also this part, since I'm replacing the TN coupler, let's see what can I do. Okay. So let's remove the coupler, which is stuck here, like so. Eh. Okay, fully stripped. Here. So I don't need the Arnold couplers, these two components are the only things I will need wheels and weights. Alright, so let's take a set of four. Okay, that's a bit too much. Ah! One, two, three, four, five. Alright. Okay, just in case there are OCD among my viewers, which actually, frankly, I'm very grateful about how much the channel has grown uh, since I started. I really appreciate all those who have been uh, giving me their support. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey. Okay, so I'll just fit them in and wow, that's it. Wheels are in. Hi, hi. Yes, uh, yeah, it's a bit fiddly. Now we need to figure things out. Okay, so let's just say I connect this here. Hello, in. Thank you. Question is, how am I going to fit this? Can I still fit this in here? Hey, I might. Oh, yeah, I might not need to do any cutting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sorry, gotta sing to remain cool, otherwise I'll... Hey, yeah baby, it fits. Oh God, that's... So, that's pretty much done. All final step, put in the weights and put back the chassis. And car number three is fully prepped. So this is the weight. Goes there. These are the seats. Okay, that's the front end, so that's where the driver part goes. See that they are aligned. Yes, they are. Yep, looks good. Okay, and finally, they come together. Come together. Eh. Eh. Ah, e -A -O. Right now. Hey, go in. Hello, go in. 
Asse, asse, asse. Go in. Hey, go in. Go in. Okay, I'll be back. Let me do this off screen. Okay, here's the problem. The hooks, they're not supposed to rest on the grey uh, portions, but on the black portions. Which means that these parts are in the way. So I'm just going to do a bit of trimming. I'll be back. Right. I made a bit of cutting. Uh, okay, it's um, fine. It's not very pretty. But it should work now. So let's have a look. Okay, first let's fit this back here. Let's hook it up to the two notches. Press down. It's locked. Okay, next. Slide this in. Something dropped. Something dropped. What was it? Oh, a wheel. Okay, fine. No biggie. Yeah, uh, they don't stain very well, unfortunately. But when you're on the tracks, they'll run fine. They'll run fine, sorry. Okay, so. Yes, and a satisfying click. Now let's put the whole thing back and see does it fit now. It should. Please let it fit. Huzzah! Fits. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and motorization of this set. So if you did like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it will really help our channel and I'll greatly appreciate it. So until the next time, stay safe, stay blessed. Matane!